Look, it's the famous Let's Go pose from JoJo's <laughs> Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. Oh no, the JoJo amalgamate. <laughs> I love just standing next to my friends and then just staring dead-eyed at the horizon. <laughs> you know, this exact sequence from the video game inspired the uh, similar shot <laughs> in the opening for the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure anime. I would really love if the more, <laughs> like, characters we got, they just followed along us like a snake. <laughs> uh, but what if they followed us like a camel, like this one that we're writing? <laughs> I don't think we're riding it. I think we're just walking right next to a camel. <laughs> Anyways, you'll remember the sun fight. <laughs> In this one, there's no puzzle to solve, I guess, except that you're supposed to examine the burning sun here. But right. otherwise, like, you just have to kick the sun's ass. who never, like, read JoJo's just being like, what do I do? <laughs> Like, just being stuck on this part for, like, months. <laughs> oh, did you have to switch to Avdol to do that? No, I just wanted to switch to Avdol. Okay. No, that was, just, that was a creative choice on my end. <laughs> Anyways, classic sun thing, shooting fire down from the heavens. Also making, like, sucky noises. It's like the sun's, <laughs> like, coming in to give me a big kiss like a grandma. Well, you remember in the in the original, the uh, the man is like sitting behind a screen, like eating popcorn and shit. That's just him slurping on a soda. Oh, okay. He's got a big gulp. Yeah. He's like, thank God, uh, 7-Eleven is still here in Egypt. Well, he's got a friend stand user that can summon a 7-Eleven. Oh. Oh, right. Like those classic team ups. Mm hmm. Like Oingo and Boingo, but someone working at like a movie concession stand. <laughs> they should have had the sun fight in the JoJo fighting game, but it's just like the angry sun from Mario 3. <laughs> and like his rival is the big smiley sun from Teletubbies. Oh my god. Man, I just realized Oingo and Boingo either are not going to be in this or they are going to be in this and it's going to be supremely disappointing. <laughs> Well, I've got excellent news for you. You'll find out this episode. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This sure is another fight in this video game. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think of those fire ones? He's, like, just shooting, like, popcorn seeds at us. Again, he's eating behind there. Mm -hmm. It sucks that you can't talk to the sun. <laughs> Hey, son, I think you're a coward and you should get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he disappears and suddenly it's nighttime. It's like, damn, that was the real son we made fun of. Fuck. I mean, how could you tell, right? Like, this is the most dastardly one because it's like, how could you tell the difference between the sun and the fake sun? Oh, I mean, the real sun wears glasses. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. No, you're right. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it's setting. <laughs> and so the sun fell to earth, burning everyone up. <laughs> oh my god, we gotta go find a dog! Oh man. I like that they make him more of a character, I guess. Yeah, and also he actually drops out the whole way because he's short. <laughs> he's actually in a party for the rest of the game now, but we can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When we get Iggy, he's going to hold Iggy up so that Iggy can show up on the screen. <laughs> Man, we're gonna kill Dio in record time. Yeah, so like, I think over the course of the story, it's like, been two weeks since we started. So again, as long as you're not using the end, I think it gives you plenty of time. It's just like, tough because this game is, uh, low on options on how to heal. <laughs> I just like the idea that like, 
Jotaro is just like, he's really pissed. He's like, okay, 50 days? Uh, no, we're killing Dio in two days. Get on the <laughs> fucking plane, old man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, so we need to go find Iggy, because Iggy's too clever to be caught by the Speedwagon Foundation. That crazy dog. God, that child doesn't have a nose. <laughs> it also does not have a jaw. <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's an avatar for sure. Oh my god, whole horse is here to get a dog, too. Everyone just wants this dog. No, he's a cowboy. He's here to get along, little doggy. Great, thanks. <laughs> Glad he told us to take care, you know? Despite being yeah. at opposing sides, at least, you know, he's our friend to all of mankind. Yeah, this is reaching across the aisles. This is the kind of politics I can get behind. <laughs> Well, we saved him from justice last time, so I think he understands that sort of, like, give and take a little bit. Now, these are brainwashed men. This is the only time they show up, and I don't- they don't, like, have dialogue or anything to explain who brainwashed them. I'm gonna assume it was Iggy. <laughs> yeah, he, like, farted in their face, and now they're crazy. That's right, and they're like, oh, we'll blindly follow this dog. Because it's turned them away from opposite dog, aka God. I, uh, I like that these fucking, like, random brainwashed men in, like, Egypt in the 80s are just carrying around 9,000 US dollars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? It was an age of globalization. It was, at the time, like, the exchange rate was crazy. <laughs> yeah, remember in the 80s when they just said, you know, every coin is one-to-one -one now, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ugh, oh, this isn't sustainable, but you know what? It was a good experiment. Pennies, they're a dollar now. Dollars, they're pennies now. Go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Today we've declared national opposite world for currency. And you know what was weird? The stocks stayed exactly where they were. <laughs> I think they call that a bulldog market. Oh, I bet Iggy would love that. <laughs> Poor Avdol. <laughs> He's just getting, like, Looney Tunes around in this ruin. Anyway, so here's the fight is... with Iggy. Just apropos of nothing, here's Iggy. I really like that Iggy sprite, to be fair. Yeah. It's easily the best sprite that's been out here, too. This one isn't bad either, honestly. <laughs> like, yeah. the stands and Iggy, pretty good. Then you, then you go immediately back to, like, Avdol, or Jotaro, or any of the humans, and it's just like, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, I'm really excited to see Iggy's portrait down in the bottom when he joins. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna look like when he's happy? What about when he's sad? Yeah. Oh. That's gonna, like, inject some life into this commentary. <laughs> Finally. Right, because also you have to think, like, which Iggy are they using, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it actual dog face Iggy, or is it the one where he's grown an anime human face? <laughs> I don't know, this is looking pretty anime human so far. He does have that huge forehead mm -hmm. that is definitely, I think, more apropos of his human face. You'll also, note, you'll also uh, recall that we picked up Anubis' sword in one of those chests. Mm -hmm. Oh, Just, we you did? know, again, yeah, <laughs> I yes, that was that. the last thing we got. So, you know, just apropos of nothing, we also have this. I'm sure it won't be important. I hope that guy's still out there, still loving the ruins. <laughs> I mean, can't stop. <laughs> That's what I love about ruins. I get older, oh, no. they get older. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think it's fucked up that we have to wall up this dog and there isn't, like, a tactic to, like, give it gum. And just immediately, like, win the Iggy fight. Yeah, it seems like we should have been able to be, like, 
Oh, and this chest was some dog treats, and maybe you can give them to the dog or something. You right. know, well, we give him Anubis's sword. <laughs> I also kind of feel in general that uh, this game already isn't too mechanically f varied, but perhaps it could have been a bit better if they had some flavor text for the attacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, Iggy is like the famous farting stooge of the gang. Why not give us like a fart attack? I'm not, like, asking for an animation of it, just describe it. Actually, the game should just turn into Pokemon from now on, where you just have, like, four commands for Iggy. Oh, <laughs> oh. also, Iggy can just speak English now. <laughs> uh -huh. Why does Iggy have, like, a triple <laughs> chin? Yeah, what happened to Iggy's neck? How many coffee gums have you been feeding this poor dog, Chorps? I... I, like, I'm legitimately not sure what's supposed to be happening. I don't know if they're, like, implying he's wearing, like, a scarf or something. This kind <laughs> of looks like whatever somebody, like, does makeup to make their face look like a minion or something. And, like, yeah. the, <laughs> the double neck is, like, their lips where they actually are. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy has been waiting out here for someone to come back with us. Fifty dollars. <laughs> come on now. It doesn't matter what you say. You have to do it eventually. Chorps, you have not a single haggling bone in your body. Yeah, you wouldn't That's survive why I put one Abdul day out there. in the Middle East. So they'd be like, uh, some shawarma? What about $500? <laughs> 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 hey, do you remember me? <laughs> That's why I put Abdal in front. I feel like Abdal not going to be a haggler in this group. Oh god, um, Iki's face. I feel like Avdol, like, he he's lived in Egypt for a long time. He knows how to handle the merchants. <laughs> I feel like he's too honest, though. Like, everyone else is, like, a rat bastard in this group. Mm -hmm. Like, Polnareff tries to haggle, but also is just stealing things at the same time. Jodoro's an asshole. I feel like Joseph would probably have the best chance at haggling. Oh, but yeah. he's also a ch fucking rube. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. He would haggle and somehow end up paying, like, a worse price. Yeah. Right, no, like, like that's the thing with Joseph. Like, he, he's got a good chance of, like, haggling it down, but he's got a way higher chance of having to pay even more than the asking price. Right, like, it's like, oh, this isn't worth anything. And then the guy goes, actually, this is, like, an ancient Egyptian cigarette pack. And he's like, oh, are you kidding me? I want one of those. And he's, like, paying double now. <laughs> oh, the sword animation's so good. I just love, again, they just don't do anything with these fucking, like, bust-up sprites. So it's just like, here's a hand and a sword swinging. It's incredible. You know, they say the creation of Marmoros is older than, uh, us and the time between the end of the Egyptian kingdom. Really? Yeah. Huh. That explains why we saw Joe Camel earlier in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that was Joe Camel taking us across the desert. <laughs> Actually, when the sun died, oh. he uh, lit a cigarette on it. <laughs> also, look at Iggy. <laughs> yeah. You guys are all so excited about seeing Iggy, and now you get to. <laughs> I love just seeing them all go from smiling to neutral face, like, instantaneously. <laughs> it's good. Anyways, he's dead now. He fell over when we took the sword, <laughs> crumbled into dust. So, okay. You know, now that we've all, like, uh, been showcased Iggy, uh, like, uh, what does everyone think is, like, the best Iggy? Um, I really like the in-between Iggy, where it's not full anime, but it's- and it's still kind of dog. Now, you know me, I'm a phase one Iggy guy. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. my parents own a Boston Terror, and all Boston Terrors look like ugly fucking rats. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
So I can appreciate like how real Rocky was when he drew that Iggy. <laughs> I don't know. I always thought that Phase One Iggy looks too much like uh, a French bulldog and not enough like a Boston Terrier. Y- you know, when he was making uh, Phase One Iggy, he was drawing it like it is. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I think of Iggy, my mind immediately goes to the shot of him, like, dribbling coffee gum down his jaw. So (laughs) I think I stick generally with, like, first-gen Iggy. Oh, yeah. I think there's definitely a space for anime face Iggy because, like, I get why he did it. It's like, when Iggy has to do, like, an important fight, he has to be able to emote. And that's something that dogs can't do. Just like opening jars. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Um, well, I think of Phase 3, Iggy, like I think of children. They should be heard, not seen. <laughs> Damn. But he's a Boston Terrier, not like a, a German Shepherd. <laughs> Thanks. That took me a second and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a, it's a thinker. I'm not gonna get it until the end of the episode. Yeah, and then you'll hate it. I haven't made up my mind yet. Come on, Chorps. I'm not a <laughs> one-dimensional man. Sorry for uh, sorry for deciding how you're going to appreciate that joke ahead of time. Actually, you know what? I do hate it. <laughs> well, all right. I love that, like, we first go, okay, this man got the sword and tried to kill us. Let's give it to a different, exactly same man. Like, come on, guys. I know that they're, like, kind of dumb in the anime, (laughs) but I feel like this game is, like, really pushing it. I think they're very smart, Chorps. Well, I mean, Chorps, you're controlling them, so of course they're dumber now. (laughs) Hey, hey! If you were in this position, Charps, you would give this sword away, like, four fucking times. <laughs> it's probably true. I just keep trying to haggle it to anyone, like that kid that walks by. <laughs> I'd just be like, here you go, kid. Put it in his mouth. Now, I know we've talked a lot about, like, this game and kind of lack of potential. Here's what I want out of this exact scene, is I want to have our characters take this sword and, like, have to do, like, caveman games style, throw it into the river. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like track and field when you're doing, like, uh, the javelin toss. Oh, uh, <laughs> hell yeah. And then they should also put in all the other caveman games games. <laughs> right. I couldn't name you a single other caveman game game besides Wife Toss, uh, so... Uh, <laughs> Firestarter. Uh, yeah, there's the Firestarter. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Isn't there, like, a dinosaur combat game? Yeah, Dino Tickler. (laughs) Wait, what? (laughs) You know, classic caveman games. Right. Do you have to tickle the dinosaur? Do you fight them? What's the... Is tickling, like, a caveman term for something? (gasps) Well, you're never gonna get that answer, Chorps, because we're on to the next arc already. Uh (laughs) That's right. New art, new bits, baby. I love the idea of being, like, the owner of a library. (laughs) And just being like, yep, it's a vacation. (laughs) It's more of a staycation because he's out right outside. But if you want to go in, you just have to give me all of your stuff and your dog. (laughs) Why are we going inside this library anyway? Uh, to do more research. <laughs> yeah, we have to read Brum Stoker's Dracula to find out how to kill Dio. <laughs> you remember at the very beginning where we went into Polnareff's bookshop <laughs> to find information on stands? We're still looking for it. <laughs> what? So in this video game universe, like, every stand user has a bookshop. That's like another thing that ties them all together. <laughs> yeah. And they all have, like, competitive bookshops. Oh, for sure. Hey, he didn't let you in. You would have to give up your visor. (laughs) 
So, you asked if Oingo Boingo were here. Uh, I'm not gonna say that it's as exciting as the anime does it, but they've done a little, like, a mix-up. Someone else has joined the Oingo and Boingo crew. Oh my god, it's a child <laughs> detective. <laughs> And we found Encyclopedia Brown here at the library. Yeah, this little fucking kid looks like he belongs in Carmen San Diego game. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Not sure what's happening there, but I'm glad we're just leaving. I do like this reverse of it, where there are kid versions of the characters that were kids in the manga. Right. And the other ones fight. That is, like, a nice touch. And I, like, appreciate that they actually made sprites for them. Like... Yeah. Yeah, instead of them just being off-screen or something. Or just, like, short, right? They just, like, fell down, like, halfway. Well, chase after him. But... Ugh. Uh. It's time for a fight with this fucking dude. I think it sucks that young Joseph doesn't look anything like young Joseph from the manga. Well, he got even younger. Well, th that's when he would have been, like, reading Superman on the airplane when he was in his first plane crash. Oh my oh, god, shut right, up, yes. young Galt. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I believe in this fight, the whole, like, you get weaker thing is true in that your attacks will do less. So, in this fight, we once again take the route of just, like, yelling insults at him until he dies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Alessi... Alessi's a coward, right? Like, that's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like he would easily be more susceptible to being called a bastard or, like, told he smells or is ugly. I don't think he's a coward. I believe him. He is cool. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I do love his, like, reverse menorah hair. I also love that it works that uh, Jotaro's just like, yeah, watch if my stand comes at you, but it's like, that stand's also gonna be a baby. You remember that. <laughs> also, we saw that baby Jotaro could just, like, murder an adult. Mm -hmm. I love that sprite. Well, especially an adult as, like, shitty as Elise. Oh my god, he's already dead. <laughs> right? It's so quick. It's incredible. <laughs> and one by one, they rejoin us. I was, just, I was almost hoping that they were just going to join and say absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> right, like, yeah, don't worry. Nothing important <laughs> happened. Yeah. We're not even going to acknowledge it. So was Boingo's prediction that they were going to fail? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They just, like, give us our stuff back, too. Like, I, I don't know what their goal was. I think they're just pranksters here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that these are actually stand users. Right, like, I feel like Alessi was almost, like, he wasn't part of the group. He was just also in the library trying to fuck with people. <laughs> yeah, he had to give up his dog to get into the library. <laughs> yeah, it just seems like a circumstance thing. Like, I don't know what their goal was because they immediately, like, don't beg for their life or anything or even bring it up. It's just like, yeah, here's your stuff back. Sorry about your dog. So I'm thinking if Alessi had a dog, would that dog basically be immortal as long as Alessi lived? I mean, probably. You could, like, continually shoot it backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Man, no wonder he's so screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a kid, his dog never died. <laughs> yeah, he's one of those guys that's just like, ugh, I hate when my dogs grow up. I want them to be a puppy forever, and so he keeps doing that. God, but imagine, the world's smartest puppy. <laughs> That's right, hundreds of years of knowledge. And it'll still eat shit. <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> hey now, come on. 
I don't know, chirps. I've seen you eat shit on every freaking episode of this LP so far. <laughs> hey, no, I've been I've been doing good. <laughs> good for a clown, maybe. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Here he comes, jumps off screen. <laughs> I think it's fucked up that he talks the very first time you join in, and presumably everyone understands him, but otherwise it's just like, bark, bark. Well, they're actually reading his lips. He's, like, mouthing out the syllables. Oh, hmm. I see. <laughs> Anyways, here's Geb! Oh, I thought it was Jeb. <laughs> 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 oh my god, he won the Egyptian primary. <laughs> You're a good little stand. <laughs> <laughs> he does the trick with the water and he's just like, please clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's um, that guy we saw just a minute ago. I think Gep would probably like make his own water stand like clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be great. I like his tiny hockey stick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's like whenever you get the tiny baseball bat when you go to the the field for a game. <laughs> oh yeah, uh-huh. Like a little souvenir. Mm-hmm. He just saw the brewers. So the way they've interpreted this fight is that every time you run away from the fight, or he runs away, you get a new part of the Geb story. Instead of like, I don't know, having Kakuin lose his eyes and shit, it's just like Every time you run away, it's like, oh, he's using sound. Oh, it's a water attack. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess. So they figured, you know, having the whole check thing, that wasn't exhilarating enough. Now you need to waste even no. more time on figuring it out. I'm glad they animated and made a spike for this bit, though. Oh my god, look at that tiny Iggy. Can you really say this is animated, though? <laughs> yeah, I guess animated is a bit of a strong word, but I still like it. Oh, wait, that's Iggy. <laughs> yeah, that's Iggy riding on his stand. It reminds me of, like, whenever you're playing Pokemon and, like, it's the tiny versions of the Pokemon <laughs> in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Man, God forbid a JRPG have, like, you lose members of your party or anything throughout the game. Oh! Name one game at this time that would have made you lose members of a party for story reasons. Uh, Final Fantasy 2. Fuck. Final okay, Fantasy name a second four. one. Fuck. Shit! Well, again, this is an alternate retelling of JoJo's. <laughs> <laughs> the ones in Final Fantasy 2 are, like, really funny, though, because you just have a fourth party member for, like, every dungeon, and they die towards the end of the dungeon always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's it's really good. Like, one of them is just, like, you're leaving, nothing's wrong, and then just, like, oh, a boulder fell and crushed your fourth party member? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like what happened to Avdol at that temple earlier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, that... That water sprite is far too good for this video game. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, like, surprisingly animated. Uh, Final Fantasy 2, though, my favorite thing is in the Game Boy Advance re-release, they made a second campaign, which is where you just play all of the dead fourth party members right. trying to make it out of hell. No, wasn't that the one where you, like, go to heaven? Yeah, no, you start out in hell, though, and you have to, like, fight your way out. You go to, like, purgatory. Oh, cool. That rules. That's like a band of, like, people that don't know each other, but they've got, like, the one friend in common. <laughs> <laughs> it's super good. There's like, yeah, I also died for these three assholes. It's like, oh, I have to fight out of hell with all my Twitter mutuals. You know, if I were out in the desert and I got attacked by water, I'd say thank you. <laughs> I'd probably be very thirsty. Yeah, you just take a big bite out of the hand. And it's like, oh, refreshing. <laughs> yeah. You know what they say about biting the hand that feeds. 
They don't say anything about biting the hand that drinks. <laughs> what? Is there a verb for that? I just realized that's not right. Yeah, drinks. I don't know. I'm not engaging with this bit. I am <laughs> staying away from there in case the viewers rebel against it. <laughs> that's fair enough. At least you're loyal to something. That's right, the viewers. Yeah, I'm loyal to whoever likes me the most. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk. I'm not having fun. I want to go to the water park. <laughs> Lord Dio's the strongest, most badass in the world. It's the coolest. Lord Dio has a 12 pack. I saw it myself. <laughs> well, I felt it. Wow. Like a Dio just literally held up a washboard for him to touch. <laughs> and so nine days passed. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> cool.